How's it going, guys? Chris back here again with another historic brawl deck. Today we're looking at Rigo, Streetwise Mentor. Uh, and the plan for the deck is deceptively simple. I think we'll keep this. Uh, we're trying to just cast Rigo. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Sun Petal Grove into key to the city. <clears throat> and then we're going to go into Champion of Lanor. Yeah, it got countered. Very sad. So we're unblockable creatures, and we're ways to make creatures unblockable. And the ideal is that we get a one powered unblockable creature. We get it to draw a card and then Rico draws the card. That's all all good. See this Urza play though, it's a little worrying actually. It's a little Aha. Uh -huh. See. Rigo is here. He's a cat citizen. He's only a little dodgy. I don't know what it is about mentor characters, but they tend to be dodgy, don't they? Huh. We didn't draw land. We do have Ornithopter of Paradise. I guess. Guess that's gonna be it for us. I think it's just a five mana. Next turn we could cast our Horn of Valhalla and equip it. We could also just draw with Ornithopter Paradise. Rude, man. Rude. Yeah, I don't think we stopped the uh, Urza, unfortunately, and I think that's probably just game. Yeah, GG. <sighs> GG, opponent. We have no ability to stop that. At least not at the moment. This deck is a little bit more serious than our last few entries. And then the deck that I have planned after this one is on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. We're going right back down to uh, Crazy Town. Hollowed Fountain on one, Mentor. Uh, yeah, Hollowed Fountain on one, Mindstone on two. Uh, mentor on three. I think that's going to be our plan. Pray our opponent does not alter it further. The shield counter, natural shield counter is nice. We're up against a Simic deck, not Simic, uh, Sultai. No attack. So they do get double mana here. So with the join deck, what you want to do is 
kind of have, uh, you don't really want to go big mana. What you want to do is go, um, kind of double up on the middle tier stuff. I guess you can go, you could get drug makes a lot of sense, right? But because he doesn't let you, because mana doesn't pool from turn to turn. Make a beast. Draw a card. Announce our wedding. Get a warrior. Get a human. You gonna bounce where you go? I'd be fine. Like, two cards turned are not so impressive start to a fairly impressive start. They have a bounce spell. I mean, Besaju. A little bit worse than a bounce spell, but... Uh, what do I want? It's probably a green source, actually, because we uh, we'll need that if we want to cast any of our spells. So we're one mana off uh, for rejuvenation. It's just not very good at the moment. We want like Nyx Bloom Ancient before that becomes a thing. And. Like, we have the mana advantage if they don't untap their lands every turn. They just left him in the yard. That was scary. It's either scary or a punt. And... Yeah, punt. Scary, okay. Let's draw a card. I think that's it for us. annoying
But say when Besaju first came out, I was on Team Besaju. But these days, I don't think I can say I'm on Team Besaju. I think Besaju probably wasn't a good idea. It's an uncounterable way to remove any artifact enchantment or land. And with the most basic of graveyard synergies can be used in infinium. Right, yeah. This is just annoying, unfortunately. Which is not really what you want magic cards to be, right? Like, you want them to be fun. And that's not an impossibility, right? Like, there are cards that my opponent can play, and it's a gotcha moment, like a Besaju, but it's actually enjoyable. Eh, I guess we're just being too salty. We're probably just being too salty, honestly. guess I'm ending it here and then we'll convoke if we have to resolve resolve so at the moment we can make So we can make 14 one ones. Yeah, if they swing in with Jorn, we kill Jorn. So we just have to kill him more. He just has to die. I do love Jorn though. Like Jorn is a really cool commander. I will say that. I remember trying to jam in standard. I bet they don't have a uh, 17 drop. Do it, Jorn. Come my way. See what happens. Uh, one, two, three. Congrats on the 16 damage. You're gonna play your Besaju? I'm guessing they're gonna get back a Besaju. Eh, Jorn, okay, fair enough. I think they're in trouble though, unfortunately. Like, we have a couple cards in our deck that say if a creature has one power, it is unblockable. Uh huh. Hmm. 
No, I think I think that's good. Not you. He can't be blocked. It is an archetype. So we are going to draw a ridiculous amount of cards. Oh, our opponent is dead. Never mind. I cannot believe that this card did not have an exile class on it. Hitting a scholar of lost robe with it is just dumb. Well, we are 16 minutes and we've done two games. I was kind of salty in that game. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of salty. But in the end, we were the Jadenner at once. Because we just kind of... We kind of played two spells and won the game, right? That's basically what happened. Maybe Besage was a good thing. Because it kind of stopped us from doing that sooner than we were able to. I actually want to free mold this because... No. I, I don't have white mana. That's the issue. Is it, what are you about? Each time you do it. Okay. There's a question mark to explain what a mulligan is. Yeah, I'll keep this. This is fine. So what makes this hand good is that we have an evasive 2-drop and an unblockable 2-drop uh, for Rico for 3, right? So we open up with that. Legion's Landing, you can stay. I think I'm going to go for the River Sneak, just because it's less threatening than a sky cat yeah I'm not gonna block you have correctly assessed the threats my friend cuz I'm gonna try to draw a card Next time we're going to have to ramp a bit. So we got Botanical. Decline, unfortunately. And I think we're going to go into Skycap. And then we'll draw our free card for the turn. So Riku is one of those commanders that I looked at and thought he's not powerful enough to be that exciting. But the more I think on it, the more I think he's actually sneakily pretty powerful. Because um, his ability is just pretty decent, right? I think we're going to go into Defiler. to life to cast our legion man I guess we just go for damage next turn, right?
Yeah, like the Soul Sisters plan, I'm not sure how well it lines up with us. We will have to hang the Executioner, I think, next turn. Which is unfortunate. Unfortunately, that Gargaroth does not stop our, uh, our Sky Cat. Our Sky Cat is swole. block with a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Resolve all. I'm just going to exile the Gargaroth. Yes, we play Grove. I think we can just win with this. Because if they kill the Sky Cat, we just move the move the equipment over to the Sneak. And if they kill the Sneak, we just move it over to a token. And then Timet makes it unblockable. That's all I care about. Attack for ten. Is this enough? I think this is enough. There are only two blockers. One of them will gain them two life. But I think we got this. Yeah. Well, those were our three games. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time around. Bye for now.